Okay, we'll go ahead and get started with Coach Wade and override for questions. Kyle? You have sort of your core four of your five back and you're mixing in some new guys. Just how has that been? And I guess how much does that speed up the installation process and all that, having so many returning guys? Uh, uh, a bunch. And you know, we're not slowing down for the young guys, too. Um, with our offense, it's you, we, we're not a base offense. So, you know, we can't slow down with all the motion shifts, the box changes and all that. So uh, uh, we don't slow down. And uh, the young guys have picked it up fast, really, really, really fast. You know, they're, they're, and they're football guys. They're wired the right way. They, they love football. They eat up with it. They're always over here. And that's what we want in that room. We want, we want, we want junkies. <laughs> One of the guys that uh, you were naturally looking at to take Skag's place was uh, Rutledge, and he's been injured. First of all, how is his uh, rehab going? And secondly, who have you been – have you liked anyone that's filled in at that spot? Uh, yeah, yes, sir. We uh, uh, Keelan's a guy we recruited that uh, uh, I've got total belief in, and uh, uh, that kid's a, he's a special kid. So um, his progress is progressing. We're taking our time. Coach Key's making sure we're taking our time with his progress. But uh, I've, I have a good feeling about him in the future. So hopefully that comes to fr fr fruition. Uh, we started out with uh, Ben, Ben, Ben there working there. And then we made some changes, and and uh, we moved Ethan down, try to get you know uh, just, just some different looks, and he's done a great job. He moved down last Wednesday, so um, he had this was his third practice at guard, and he's done well. He's he's a he's a different kid, you know. I mean, it takes sometimes it takes a year to mature, and he was a kid that came in June. We threw him in the fire, and uh, so I think he's taking a different approach. And the way he works, he'll become a better player. Uh, Ben's right now, right right there. So he's the ones and twos right there. So we're still trying to develop him. And uh, uh, I've got total faith in Ben, too. So we're trying to build depth there. Um, those kids care about football. Uh, they work their tails off. So I think, I think, I think we'll be uh, OK at that spot. Uh, Joe Fusal and Weston Franklin took pretty big steps last year. Like, yes. what, what have you seen from them this spring? And like, what's the next like, big step for them? Well, um, you know, in football, last year was last year, and our first meeting here, uh, my first meeting when I first got here, you know, I tried to set a standard of what we're going to play and all that, and, and this meeting this year was different, you know. So uh, um, last year was last year. That's in the past. And I told these guys, whatever we do now, it's going to be harder. All right, so we have to elevate our game. And to me, those kids being at their age, to elevate your game, you've got to work on your deficiencies. As a coach, I have to work on my deficiencies to be a better coach. So they have really, really worked hard on their deficiencies. And uh, uh, they're great leaders, you know. Uh, I go out there and sometimes I'll be coaching the twos. And they've run four plays. I only watched them, you know, because uh, those guys, uh, it matters to them. They're ball guys. That's what, that's what the position should be played like. So. You know, we're just trying to build a culture. Culture, it's never going to be right. It's never going to be perfect, you know. But uh, if you have confidence and play fast and you hit someone in the mouth, then I'll take care of itself. You sort of answered my question, but have they taken that challenge on and said, all right, we need to elevate our game? We have to. I mean, you know, yeah, th there were some games we played okay last year, but there were some games we played bad. You know, we got to be more consistent. Uh, we got to do what we do better. Um, you know, one thing I can say, though, is I think we kind of find well, who we are, you know, toward the end of the year, and we've continued that. So that I think that helps the kids out, you know, not doing too many things. You know, we kind of, as a new staff, uh, Coach Key's first year, I think we found out who we are, what we do. And uh, so, you know, there, every day we, we work, you know, even after the scrimmage, it's okay. We got to do this better. We got to run off the ball. We got to run our feet or contact. So there's always something, and especially there'll be something to the last Thursday before the bowl bowl game. That position's always there's something you got to fix and something you got to fine tune. I wanted to ask you about a couple of freshmen. One, um, I guess maybe Corey was out, and yep. Jameson got to play with the left with the one group. Coach Key said. I was just curious what your evaluation was of him in the scrimmage, and then also um, uh, Tana and how he's doing at center, yep. trying to teach him quickly. Well, and I don't ever, I'm not a media guy, you know, um, and I'm like, but you said Corey Robinson first. Can I, can I say something yeah, about sure. him? Okay, so Corey Robinson got benched after game one, right? Uh, and, and worked his tail off for eight weeks straight. And then that kid helped us win games at the end of the year. So I've got total belief in Corey Robinson. 
And uh, with him being out right now, it's just allowing others to, 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 to really just develop faster. Um, and, you know, Jameson Riggs uh, is just a football guy, you know, and I think it comes easy for guys like that. So uh, he's a guy that uh, um, he, he doesn't look like a freshman out there, you know, but he has freshman moments. So we've got to fight through those a little bit. But I think this now having this time when he comes back in August, his game should be elevated to another level, you know, so he can work on his deficiency in the summer. But uh, they're physical football guys. And when, when, you know, when we recruit guys here like that, that's what we want, you know. I don't care if they're two inches shorter. I don't care if they weigh 10 pounds less. If they have that mentality and they do it, then we're going to be okay. And I think Tan is a perfect example of that. You know, uh, Tan is, a, uh, um, you know, He's a center at this level, making all the calls and not having issues. Now, he has his moments, and, uh, you know, he's got to play more physical at times and all that. But I really think that, you know, those guys are wired the right way. They elevate their game every day without me having to tell them. Going back to the center position, actually everyone knows who Wesson is and yes, what he's capable of doing and how he's progressed. Uh, how, how are you feeling about the depth you're trying to build behind him, knowing that he's not going to be around that long. I feel great about uh, the depth. You know, right now, Tana's, Tana's with the twos. Um, and I'm sure before spring gets over, we'll, we'll throw him in there with the ones just to, you know, uh, take a couple hits off Weston. And then, uh, you know, Gabe's running with the, the third group right now. We've kind of moved him around, starting to make guard um, because Harrison Moore was at center for the first two practices and did well. We just needed him at other places. So we moved Gabe back there. But we're building depth there with Harrison Moore can snap. Um, and his athleticism is what we really want at that position. And, you know, Tana is very athletic. You, you don't know that he's 314 pounds. So, and that's a good thing. We want to get bigger in there and try to keep the same athleticism to, you know, just to kind of hunker down, you know. But uh, I, I feel really good about the depth at that position. Anything else for Coach? Okay. Last one. Yeah, I feel like we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about Jordan and just. He's you know been here for the long haul and yep. just kind of the leadership he brings in that room and seeing his personality bloom and all that and just kind of what are your expectations for him for his final season? Uh, I've, we've got I've got probably a higher expectations for him than he does for himself and um, you know um, he's a guy that I thought played very high level toward the end of the year last year um, but I think you know uh, he needs to elevate his game to another level. Uh, you know, Jordan's a kid that's played a lot of ball here. One thing I can say about Jordan is, you know, when we got here last year, you know, he uh, coached my – I've got a little Nick here, a little Nick there, but he is uh, – It's he's a different guy right now. And, I, you know, uh, I think the world of Jordan. Um, I know that uh, our group thinks the world of Jordan. And uh, he, he, he can help us win a lot of games around here next year. Awesome. Thank you. Thank man. you, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, guys. Thanks.